Now, it is important to mention that some teachers, in addition to the formative and summative assessments, also use a so-called diagnostic assessment. This is an initial assessment which aids the teacher in determining the initial competences of the students at the beginning of the CBL activity. What do students already know and what experience do they already have? Both disciplinary and transversal competences can be measured at the beginning of your course through various methods, such as knowledge tests, self-assessment, providing yes and no answers to respond to the po possessed knowledge or experience questions, rating scales on how familiar they might already be with some topic and similar. By also using the diagnostic assessment, a teacher may then apply the before, which is diagnostic assessment, during, which is the formative assessment, and after, that is summative assessment types. Application of such methods as reflections, learning journals, learning logs, learning diaries, rubrics may help the students see a clear development of their own competences from the initial stage of the CBL activity to its final stage. Please remember that it is important to provide students not only with a quantitative assessment, which is a grade or some points, but also with qualitative feedback explaining the reasoning behind the grade. Now, let's talk about learning outcomes and assessment. Upon designing your course, you should select your assessment based on the course learning outcomes and how assessment methods align to them. This is where Bloom's taxonomic pyramid becomes helpful. It aids by determining the necessary cognitive complexity of student tasks. Here, it is important to ask yourself, what do your CBL course outcomes expect of students? Are these the lower levels of cognition, such as remember, understand, or the higher levels of cognition, such as evaluate, create? If you need your students to memorize something, for instance, some medical information, exams with closed-ended questions might fit here. But if you want and need your students to develop something innovative, create an original solution, for instance, solve the problem of parking in your city center, the exam with closed-ended or multiple-choice questions will not suit here. Some sort of collaborative group project should be applied here. Now that we have covered the assessment of disciplinary and transversal competences, Additionally, in the reading resources, you may find more information and examples on the topic. Also, please see an additional video on using the Entrepreneurial Competences Framework for Assessment. Thank you very much and good luck using assessment in your CBL.